Hello and welcome or welcome back to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name is Alana. I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the brand new Adobe Fresco version 3.8. This has a lot of exciting new updates that have been long awaited for Fresco users. And we're going to dive into all of them in this video. So grab your tablet, load up Fresco, and let's jump in. The first update we're going to be looking at is the free transform tool. So we're just going to go over to our transform arrow here. So in this area, we now have a regular transformation tool, but we also have access to three new transformations. So we're able to skew from the corners and make these sort of individual movements, also using the top and bottom points, as well as the side points. We can also further distort. So this sort of moves more independently and isn't locked to any axis. This really allows you to really make wide kind of edits to your shapes. And then we have the perspective. So this will really draw you in to vanishing points and really restrict your movements. These might seem familiar to you if you're used to using Photoshop. These are the same sorts of transformations. So now they've landed in Adobe Fresco to make transforming even more versatile. So now you can manipulate your objects in all these different ways, which is really great to see. So let's take a look at our next updates. So as you may know, Adobe Fresco is a pixel and vector program. So these next two updates are all about the vector brushes. So now you have the option to choose from 13 different outline brushes. So now as you draw, you create a hollow fill and an outline. That means that the color on the inside of the stroke can be changed independently from the stroke outline color and is easily editable. This is really cool, especially if you're a lettering artist like me. This really opens up a lot of different possibilities for us. But how cool is that? And remember, this is 100% vector, so infinitely scalable and editable in other programs like Adobe Illustrator. So there are 13 of these different brushes total. So take a look at them and start experimenting. Some of them even have jitter features, which was from a previous update. So I encourage you to check these brushes out and start having fun with outlines. Also an update to vet your brushes, we're now seeing that we have increased brush sizes for a lot of these vector brushes. So you can go really macro with these brush sizes if you want. Before, a lot of these would top out around the 50 range, but now a lot of them go as large as 500. So yeah, you can really go big. Take a look at our next update. Still on the topic of brushes, we have a new summer brush pack from Kyle T. Webster. Every single season, Kyle will release a new brush pack for us to use. So let's take a look at our new Summer 22 brushes. To install them, all you have to do is go to your pixel brushes at the top and select Add Brushes. From there, you can hit Discover New Brushes. So you'll see that the Summer 2022 brushes are right at the top and ready to be added. To find your brushes, you'll just scroll down and it'll be in the Library Brushes section and you get to see 
all the different brushes that he's come up with. I really like a lot of these brushes because look at this texture. I mean, it's kind of insane. I really like the summer washes. These are just so beautiful. I mean, look at that. It looks like a beautiful watercolor. I think he did such a fabulous job with these brushes. Every brush pack is so unique and beautiful, but wow, I've really fallen in love with this brush in particular. And remember, every single season, these new brushes are available to all Adobe Fresco and Photoshop users for free with your subscription. So take advantage of all the free goodies that they're letting out every single season. If you wanna check out these brushes to use in Photoshop as well, since they're compatible there, I'll be linking in the description box where you can have the actual brush files so you can bring them into your other programs. Next, we're gonna have some fun with colors. Let's take a look. So, in a previous update, we saw a lot of updates to color. So one of those updates was color palette import. You can go into your photos, import an image, like this one that I created in Adobe Fresco. And now you'll see when you open your color chip that you have a color palette that is automatically generated from the image that you import. It'll be named with the name of your image and it'll extract colors for you to be inspired to use a color palette that way. This is a really awesome feature that's really great to see land in Adobe Fresco. So now you can click any of these colors and use them. You can even hit this plus sign icon to add them up to your recent section. Or if you find that you've added as many colors from this palette as you want to add and you want to get rid of it, hit the three dot icon here and hit delete palette. As someone who struggles with adding color to a lot of their work and getting inspiration for color palettes, I think this is a great update to see. But if for whatever reason you don't want to have color palettes auto-generated from your photos, you can simply go to your settings menu, go to app settings, and under general, you can toggle off auto-create color palette. So just in case that's a feature that you don't really want to engage with, you can also turn it off if you'd like. All right, let's take a look at our next update. This is all about color dynamics. We also saw this in a previous update, but I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about it because it's pretty cool. So with select brushes, you can activate what is called color dynamics. Select your brush. For this, I'm going to be using the box it brush. I'm gonna to go to my brush settings. And I'm going to make sure that color dynamics is toggled on. And then I'm going to click that so I can go further into my settings. Now see here, as I adjust the hue jitter, that more colors become integrated into this brush. So this is about how much color variation you want to see in a single brush stroke. So let's bump it up to 65 and take a look. So, in a single brush stroke, you see that I have all of these ranges of colors, which is super cool, right? Color dynamics, that's what this is about. A variety of colors coming to life on your canvas in single strokes. So yeah, this is just like yours to just have fun with. This is not available as a setting for all brushes, mind you but I find like these really grainy brushes are great to use with it. So this is Syrah. So if I adjust this, I just get really lovely color range. And this will adjust as you select a different color from your color chip. So you'll see that the color varieties will adjust accordingly depending on the main color that your brush is set to. So you can really get a really nice range of variety depending on what you want. And I just think it's like so beautiful. 
and I highly encourage you to check it out because you can get really colorful texture in just a few passes of your brush. So be sure to check out Color Dynamics in Adobe Fresco. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like, share it with a friend, and subscribe for weekly videos. Want to learn more about Adobe Fresco? I've got a whole playlist of videos over here. Downloading Adobe Fresco for the first time? I've got a link for you in the description box below. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.